Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. Now I'm in the studio today and I thought I'd just do a quick lesson on calculating your fabric requirement for your bay windows. Because previously I did one for box cushions and your box cushions for those of you who might not be sure are your cushions that have that dimension. So it has the gusset, it's kind of like this. If I should draw something here, it has that dimension here, which is called the gusset. So this part here is called the gusset that gives it the dimension and it joins the front and the back panel together. So I did um, a calculation for that. Basically, that's the same system that you would use to calculate um, fabric for your bay window because although your bay window seat is going to look like a trapezoid when you are measuring for the fabric you have to treat it, treat it like a rectangle and go ahead and take the longest measurement across here and the deepest measurement for your depth measurement you take the deepest measurement so take for example this is 52 and this is 14. those are the measurements that you would use and i have a diagram which shows you it's been treated as a rectangle so basically you would get the measurements of your rectangle and you would plug it in the same system I gave you for the box cushion because you have to remember that your bay window seat will also have a gusset. Okay, it has that dimension, that piece that joins the back and the front panels together. So go ahead, get your measurements like you're measuring for a rectangular seat and use the same system I gave you for the box cushion. The only other thing i would suggest that you do when you're getting ready to make to actually make the bay window cushion is to get some paper you may not be able to get paper that's wide enough and long enough to do one template for your bay window seat but what you can do is divide the seat in half and do a half of a template like i did here for a client i did a bay window seat for a client and i did a half of a template and then i used it for the other half one reflects the other unless there is some type of obstruction on one side that's not on the other side then you will have to make sure you make the allowance for that when you are cutting your pattern so that's it. The best way to do anything like this is to use a template. I hope this helped with your bay window fabric calculation and cutting your pattern for your window seat. Thanks so much again for watching, sharing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go ahead ask any questions i want you to ask questions because that's how i get the engagement to know if what i'm doing is making any sense and helping anyone so thank you guys so much again if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed go ahead hit the subscription button subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you can be notified of new videos you in the next video.